an award decades in the making for a man from Delaware County. 85-year-old Navoru Richard Horikawa received a bronze replica of the Congressional Gold Medal, the nation's highest civilian medal. And as Fox 29's Bruce Gordon reports, there is much more to Horikawa's story. It is an incredible honor for me to extend today the Congressional Gold Medal. He thought he was attending a routine meeting of the Veterans Club at the Maris Grove Seniors Complex, but 85-year-old Richard Horikawa was, in fact, the guest of honor. A story that began with hatred, ending with applause. Up and down the West Coast, families were forced out of their neighborhoods. Horikawa and his family were among thousands of Japanese Americans taken from their homes and shipped to internment camps in the wake of the attack on Pearl Harbor. These were American citizens, but the U.S. government viewed them as the enemy. We couldn't believe that. Being a citizen, so uh, if that was the case, then we didn't have a, we didn't have a country of our own. Horikawa would ultimately be drafted into the Army, where he served as a translator in our military intelligence service part of an all-Japanese American regimental unit that was finally recognized for its service just two years ago. You felt like you had to fight for this yeah, because loyalty. Otherwise, everybody was uh, saying we're a bunch of uh, enemies and uh, we could be uh, saboteurs and we don't want to do that. We don't get uh, branded by that. So You felt like you had something to prove. Right. This ceremony was months in the making, put together without Horikawa's knowledge by the president of Maris Grove's Veterans Club, a fellow by the name of Larry Limbo. It was lots of work, make no mistake, but Limbo clearly viewed it as a labor of love, a sign of respect. I could have said, well, let's invite the whole community here. And I said, no, I wanted to invite him among other heroes. And this is a fraternity of heroes. Seventy years ago, this nation turned its back on Richard Horikawa. Today, his comrades looked him in the eye and extended their hand in thanks. In Glenn Mills, Bruce Gordon, Fox 29 News.